Greetings, fellow Game Changers. This is uh, Game Changer Alpha coming at you again here. And what we have here is this is a video. I wanted to do something on novelty and discussing why novelty matters, particularly to retro games. And I thought what I could do here, and I'm going to post a link below to this video. Go watch this listed. It's a very well quality thing. And that's why I just had a tribute to it there. What I'm discussing here. It's about why novelty matters, particularly with pretty much games in general, and particularly retro video games, which is something that happened here. Again, this is the link. It shows a list of games. I would have shown an arcade, but it shows you the variety of what you had with arcade and different errors and everything else here. And again, this is kind of a follow-up video to my uh, the bane of comfort games, which I said just comfort ends up being a, a bane to them. So, and it's just, and hinder, hinders creativity, everything else. Well, this is another aspect to it. As you see here, look at this video you're seeing. You're seeing a range of games here from different eras that did different things. A Bagman popping up and everything else here. So, just wide range of stuff that they had here. And from here, I will exchange the... the well, I'll, I'll make it that minute. Just want to say is that the whole nostalgia effect, where you remember this alone and remember playing a favorite game, ends up not being enough. Part of the reason was, is this wonder of games and seeing things you've never seen before. That type of thing there. That wonderment of that. Is one of the things that when you get nostalgic, you don't have. The sense of feeling new. Seeing stuff you never seen before. New genres emerging. So that and that was the magic. You go in the arcade. I'll tell a little bit of arcade stories, and this is what it was. Go in an arcade and you would end up seeing just just new stuff. You would just go there. I remember seeing it. it was always the thrill of what would pop up new in the arcade here. Oh yeah, here here you go. That that's uh, that popped up. We had um, Blueprint, which was a memory maze game here. And now, now we got other stuff going on here. But anyhow, Wizard of War popped up. You had all the stuff here. But I remember going to arcade and you would see it. And the evolution of it. And the wonder of the new stuff coming up. And just... The arcade cabinet and everything else was just... It was, it was wonderful. You'd go in and each thing was its own world. You could take five bucks when I was a kid. You'd go in there, you would see something different. You would see familiar. You would see genres being overdone, and they would fade because they got boring. But just the sheer wonder of it. And that wonder of the new stuff, as you're seeing here. Just different things here. You'd see similar, but just totally different one. Even if it wasn't that great, you got a chance to put a quarter in and play it. So what you have with iPhone stuff here is they have that, or the mobile devices, you still have that type of thing today. You can go out looking in the marketplace. Oh, yeah, no, here we go. Here's Tutankhamen popping up. Driving games, everything else here. I mean, look at this video. Hubert popping up. Look at the range of different gameplay here. And imagine seeing, imagine the first time you saw Qbert. I remember going from Donkey Kong. And I was in the arcade and popped up. And I said, what's this Donkey Kong Jr. thing? And you'd see it. And I was like, wow, totally different play mechanics. Oh, looks like Guzzler popped up. Yeah, super hang on. Gun smoke. And you'd have it, and it just would do different things here. The sheer wonder of newness. So in that regard, this is why the novelty matters, is to surprise. Because it's entertainment. You have other things to do it for mastery and everything else here. And a familiar and all that there. Wow, I don't believe Lemmings was an arcade game, according to this video. And then we got Psych Bike popping up. But there's just, look at the things you have here. Imagine seeing it. So, by the way, that was one of the things I have here with the retro video games. Even that, it's not just going to the top stuff that you would have there. But even digging in the past, go to the Internet Archives website. I think I'll post a link below. I was insane to it. Go check it out. Go look at the different, different things that they have there. The variety of stuff they have. Not Atari football, I remember that. Now you got the basketball. Just, just, just the sheer wonder of different things here. So that's just my take on it. That's one of the things that you have. The novelty aspect here is the big challenge of how do you bring that about when doing video game stuff and looking at retro. 
And to say just strictly nostalgia, all you're doing is playing Pac-Man, it gets stale. You end up, and that's one of the reasons why I'd say when you're doing nostalgia, you end up like leaving. You don't stay there because it gets familiar and you remember it and you've did it. The question here you have is, you remember it. I mean, you remember the stuff there. And when you remember it, it's like then it gets familiar and you start getting bored. So one of the things I would say here regarding it here and anything that you have going on is one of the key elements to this is finding stuff and being surprised by something you hadn't seen before. And it gets harder over time as genres get developed. What you see happening here is certain play mechanics get established, so storytelling comes across rather than gameplay. So anyhow, I'll post a link below. I'm going to post a link to the Internet Archives in the description there. And this is just my take on it. Look at the stuff here. Look at the different things here. And definitely check out the video. Pay it some views. Go back. Bookmark that. Go back. Watch some other time if you want a nostalgia burst. But anyhow, try to think about some of these games here you haven't seen before. Give a plug for it. Has a good soundtrack and everything else. And that's it. So I'm out. I just wanted to do my plug for why nostalgia matters to retro and games in general. And, uh, I mean, novelty. Why novelty matters. So anyhow. Okay. So that's it. I'm out. I do want to thank you for watching the video and listening to me rant. I hope this goes across here. I'm putting in a plug. I want to lend these guys good, good regard for everything else. And I'm out. So, okay. Take care. May your die always roll five. Remember, don't hate the player. Change the game. I'm signing out of here. Take care. Good night, everybody.